Good day. The focus of this mission is to help you understand the approach that we are taking in developing, designing, and delivering this course. And we will highlight four key points, as you can see on the board here. The first point, we will need to understand the difference between opinion and facts. Forgive me for you know, making this list, but this is very important because often enough we deal with a professional who studies the Pomba Guide thinking it's the only book on project management, or it's like the holy book, or it is uh, like it is, uh, uh, it's, it's almost a crime to go against anything that the Pumbak says. So we have to highlight these key points. The first one is opinion versus facts. Look, people have opinions, and they have different views, and they are, they are entitled to have different views and opinion. If something is an opinion, we know enough not to challenge opinion. You know, if you, like, if you think oranges are blue, yeah, is this an opinion or a fact? We need to distinguish between the two, yes? So opinion, if there are really indeed views and opinion, you cannot challenge this. If you don't like banana, I cannot challenge you on that. Say, Dana, banana is healthy, you should like it. Uh, well, up to you, you know, that's an opinion, that's a f preference. So when it comes to preferences or views or opinion, um, you, no one can challenge that. However, when you tell me oranges are blue, that's an issue that then maybe, well, unless there is some oranges that are blue that I've never seen in my life yet, and I'm not a young guy, then basically oranges are orange. They're not blue. And with that perspective, that's a fact. So if we say oranges are orange, that doesn't mean we are criticizing or we disagreeing with you. That's a, we are stating a fact. Which brings us to the next point. When it comes to the Pumba Guide, when we state facts, some people take it as a criticism. Or, ah, Munir, why, don't, why do you have against the Pumba Or why are you criticizing the Pumba Guide? For example, when we say the Pumba is not a methodology, some people said, well, this is a critique. Or you are criticizing. How? PMI itself, as an organization, and the book itself says the, project, the book is not a methodology. So when we describe a fact, or we describe a situation, that is not a criticism, that is a clear, I guess, clarification of what a something is. Um, if we have a different opinion sometime, yes, yeah, sure, we might critique or criticize. We don't like to criticize, that's uh, something, uh, maybe some people have a different opinion, but personally, I don't believe in criticism, but there we need to distinguish between stating facts versus critique versus criticism. The third point, and that's very important about this course, and the reason we want to say this point, because the majority of courses on the PMBAC today are designed to help people pass an exam. Well, let's be clear. This is not an exam prep course. This is not about input tools and techniques and output. I'm not here to help you memorize uh, n times n minus one over two is the communication channel. I'm here to help you learn how to apply the Pumba guide, which means our main purpose in this course or in this adventure, as we like to call them in the PM quest, is to stick to the purpose and the intent of the Pumba guide, not the letter of the guide, which means in some cases we might deviate from the guide and we will explain our justification. We will be discussing this and the next mission. Enjoy the learning. Thank you.